Moments ago, the New York Times posting a blockbuster report. Michael Cohen, the president's longtime personal attorney and fixer, secretly taped then-candidate Donald Trump in September 2016, talking about a hush money payment to a Playboy model who says she had an affair with the now president of the United States. Sources say the FBI seized this tape in a raid on Michael Cohen's office earlier this year. Maggie Haverman of the New York Times joins me on the phone. She's part of the team that broke this story. Maggie, it is a remarkable story. Give us the biggest elements here, uh, the biggest questions now for the president. Sure. The, the biggest, and uh, thanks for having me on, John. The, I mean, the biggest question right now um, for the president is why the campaign said that they had no knowledge of this when they were asked about it uh, late in the fall of 2016. Um, the biggest thing we learned from this is that there is a brief recording of Michael Cohen talking to Donald Trump. Michael Cohen was at that time Donald Trump's personal lawyer. Donald Trump was not the president yet. And they are discussing um, some details related to payments by AMI, which owns National Affair, to Karen McDougal, a woman who had alleged that she had had an affair with then not, not candidate yet. Donald Trump. Uh, and this conversation had something to do with making an additional payment from Mr. Trump to Karen McDougal. Um, his lawyer, Giuliani, told us that uh, he had on the recording apparently instructed that it be done by check so that it was done properly as opposed to cash. That payment, we understand, was not made. But obviously, this is going to raise all sorts of questions again, about why it is that the campaign would claim they knew nothing about this when clearly Donald Trump knew very well about it before the Wall Street Journal made it public. Uh, an excellent point there. And that, as we piece together what the president or then candidate businessman Donald Trump has said about this, we'll do all that throughout the hour. But to your point there, it is, I'm reading the Rudy Giuliani quote in your article. He says, in the big scheme of things, it's powerful exculpatory evidence. Uh, Rudy Giuliani right. is both a lawyer, but he's also uh, helps the president spin these things. How so? How does he believe it's exculpatory, not incredibly damning? They're trying to argue that basically this, A, that the president learned about the AMI deal after the fact, that it was uh, several weeks later, and that he wasn't trying to hide anything. If it was done by check, a check could be subpoenaed, a check could be requisitioned, that it was not cash. So therefore, he's afraid of this being learned of. It's, um, it's walking a bit of a fine line there, as you correctly note. Um, we will see what else the president has to say about this as time goes on. Maggie Haberman of the New York Times breaking that news. Maggie, appreciate your time at this busy time with me here in studio to share their reporting and their insights. Julie Hirschfeld Davis, also with the New York Times, CNN's MJ Lee, Lisa Lehrer with the Associated Press, and CNN's Caitlin Collins. And for our audience members who might be unfamiliar with this or might be confused because there's the separate issue of Michael Cohen's involvement in the Stormy Daniels payment. This is separate to this. Karen McDougal, a former Playboy model, she alleges she had a nearly year-long affair with Mr. Trump, not president at the time. Uh, this is in 2006, shortly after Melania gave birth uh, to Barron Trump. She sold her story to the National Enquirer and they never published it. And the whole theory behind that is that the publisher of the National Enquirer is a friend of the president and the so-called catch and kill. They get the information exclusively, then they don't publish it. Uh, I, we were talking about this before the program, reading this headline, Michael Cohen secretly taped Trump discussing pa payment to Playboy model. Uh, in any other universe, just reading that, is incredibly damning to the President of the United States, uh, but we have learned in this universe sometimes up is down and east is west. Well, what and to I make of this? I think if we had reason to be skeptical about Donald Trump's uh, denials in the past, the White House's denials in the past about uh, these various stories that uh, the White House may have tried to kill, uh, these affairs that a number of women have said they had with Donald Trump some years ago, I think we now have reason to be a hundred times more skeptical. Right. Uh, no matter what Donald Trump says now going forward, no matter what uh, White House spokespeople say now going forward about these stories, well, here we have uh, the first example of a recording that was made in which Michael Cohen and Donald Trump explicitly discussed the possibility of a payment to a woman who claims to have had an affair with Donald Trump. Uh, I think it is really worth emphasizing, though, uh, in this New York Times story, it does say that payment was ultimately never made. Uh, that's attributed to Rudy Giuliani, Donald Trump's lawyer. So the payment that was made, which this shouldn't be confused with, was the payment uh, from AMI to Karen McDougal of $150,000. Now, uh, I'm unclear on sort of the timing of whether uh, that payment was first made 
and then this discussion happened, or if this discussion happened uh, and then they decided not to make the payment, Donald Trump or Michael Cohen to Karen McDougal, and then the AMI payment happened. Right, and, and Michael Cohen.